Hi, everyone. Appreciate you taking some time to listen and learn. This talk was originally planned for Google Cloud's annual Next conference in San Francisco, but as with many things in life, COVID-19 disrupted that initial plan. Nonetheless, adjustments have been made, and I'm thrilled to join you virtually from my home office in Austin, Texas. Regardless of where this finds you in the world, I wish you and your family nothing but the best during these trying times. Speaking of the impact of COVID, I am proud to introduce to you today G Suite Essentials. This product is Google Cloud's response to COVID-19 and the global demand for products that allow teams to work together from anywhere. With millions of employees forced to work from home, it has become clear that the existing tools many have in place were not cutting it. The Google Cloud team stepped in and accelerated production timelines to launch a new offering in late May. G Suite Essentials is our integrated set of tools designed to support a modern workspace. With that in mind, the target audience for this session today will be those looking for an introduction to Essentials and insights into how Google addresses this specific situation we find ourselves in, in ways that few others can. And in an attempt to develop a bit of a virtual relationship, a quick introduction for myself. I am coming up on eight incredible years with Google and have spent my entire Google career as part of what seems to be the always growing cloud team. In my current responsibility, I lead a go-to-market team within a product management organization, helping organizations like you adopt tools such as Essentials and partnering with our engineers to make the tools even better. As a fun fact, I am probably the only person that you know that was born in Fairbanks, Alaska. And in Fairbanks, the shortest day of the year brings three hours and 45 mi minutes of, of daylight. And the longest day in June brings 22 hours. And so with that, we'll uh, jump to a little bit of overview in the agenda as to what we'll discover discuss today. Uh, what we'll start with is a, some, a, a talk track along the world today and how this world has influenced what Essentials has become. Why a new way of working is important to the success of businesses in more, more now than, than it ever has been. To level set on what exactly G Suite Essentials is and to highlight some value props and product insights across video conferencing, collaboration, and the, an easy to adopt strategy. And before we progress into the content, a quick call to action. My ask from you today is not to let the good ideas stay in your head. Let's commit to taking action. Uh, so I will encourage you to be thinking about how what is discussed today applies to you and your organization. And at the end of this presentation, I'll outline a few easy steps to get you on the down the path to discovering more. And a sneak peek to what that'll look like, and as we'll discuss more in the future, there's a very real opportunity to try the tool today. One of the ways that Google is supporting the, the, the global community during these trying times is making essentials free between now and the end of September. So it's as easy as going to the G Suite Essentials homepage and, and getting started, but more to follow on, on that later. The reality of the world that we live in today is different than it was before COVID-19. That is the difficult truth. Changes in all aspects of life, personal and professional. And the uncertainty that comes with these changes moving forward is incredibly high. If we've learned anything over the last few months, it's that what comes next will not look anything, it's not anything that we're able to plan for. And the implied task is to be ready. For many, the first wave of COVID as a corporate response was to survive, was to endure, and was to minimize disruption. Now, it's a matter of taking stock in that experience, thinking deeply about what that experience was, and reflecting on how to best approach this, the, the future with your team moving forward. We're in a window to take decisive action, and the stakes have never been higher. All options are on the table, no past decision is off limits, and the requirements with which we are using to make those, those decisions have changed. The amount of individuals working remote will forever be higher. What was a slow yet increasing trend has accelerated in ways that no one could predict. Well-known brands such as Zillow and Twitter and Facebook and many others have announced permanent changes in how their teams are structured, with many working permanently in a remote capacity. The commitment we need to make to ourselves is to not be caught unprepared again. And so the question becomes, now that remote work is the new normal, are the tech tools that we have in place the right ones? And here's the harsh reality. 
for many, anything other than collaboration while sharing the same conference room in person is broken. We all have our examples, incorrect versions of documents, not being able to find the right information, unproductive conference calls, you name it, you have your own story. The unfortunate thing is that it feels normal at this point, and that's just not fair. It gets in the way of meaningful productivity. It chews up mental calories that should be spent on thinking about forward progress and creative thought. These problems exist not through lack of effort. The tools that bear the brand and the promise of collaboration are out there, and they're often deployed. They're just not being used. And so we need to ask, what's the, what's the problem? First, many of the tool technology being used is not designed for distributed teams. Legacy solutions like SharePoint and Office aren't built to help people on distributed teams connect and collaborate in real time. They're built in a service to service a customer need established well before the idea of remote work was created. Those programs were initially built as on-premise solutions for individual productivity, which is why the collaboration functionality that's been added in recent years feels bolted on and clunky to use. Next is security vulnerabilities. On the other extreme, there are a sea of options that do in fact support distributed teams better, but they're serviced by many early stage companies that are prioritizing hyper growth over enterprise security. The most visible example today is Zoom. You don't have to look long into the news to find headlines highlighting the security issues they've had. This is an example of a quick fix that's not always the most secure. Finally, the theme of disconnected tools. When you're figuring out what collection of tools you need, you often think about them as individual tools to solve individual problems, not how they're all gonna come together, which means there's often a lack of integration, a lot of and, and, and independent silos. Microsoft for email, Box for content management, WebEx for video conferencing, the list goes on and on. And what is the impact of all of this? 86% of virtual teams report experiencing difficulties in communication. 75% of remote workers say they miss out on important information. And so the tools that we have access to really are defining the remote work experience. And when the COVID-19 crisis hit, a lot of people and companies weren't ready to work from home. Which brings us to G Suite Essentials, which is Google's answer, enterprise answer to COVID-19. Before we dive into the details, a quick level set on specifically what G Suite Essentials is. It includes our video conferencing capability in Google Meet, our modern collaboration tool set, which is, includes Google Drive for content management, as well as real-time editors in docs, sheets, and slides. While what you're not seeing is mail and calendar. If you're happy with Outlook, that's fine. Adding technology on top of your existing tools will maximize the investment. And these tools are custom built from the ground up to integrate with what you have in place today, which is more times than not Outlook. Meet, Drive, and editors have in fact been a part of our larger G Suite portfolio for a long time, and they still are today. What we have discovered was much of the most meaningful transformation happened with the move to G Suite through our collaboration tool sets. We also understand that organizations, not all organizations are ready to go all in on G Suite, and sign up for the much heavier migration of email due to the compete due to just generally competing priorities accelerated with this idea of, of COVID-19 today. But those same organizations do have a need and a sincere interest and motivation to solve for collaboration and would like a best in class solution. In these cases, the in many cases, the, the adoption process will start at the team level or organization, and G Suite Essentials is gonna be a, a strong answer in either case. If you are in fact ready to revisit email and calendar at this very moment, there's a full G Suite solution that is out there and ready to, to, to meet your needs today. But for the perspective of, uh, of our discussion, what we'll focus on here is the Essentials offering. And now that we've touched on Essentials, on what Essentials is, let's talk about why. So to guide this conversation, I wanna highlight the engineering priorities that we focused on. These are based on a decades plus worth of enterprise collaboration experience and customer feedback. First is Enterprise Essentials brings the tools that people know and love to their professional lives. 
Over 2 billion users use G Suite apps, making Drive the world's most popular storage tool and allowing Meet to support 3 billion minutes of calls a day. The popularity that we've seen with Drive and Meet don't just happen. They happen as a result of best-in-class software solving real-world problems in ways that makes sense to the user. Both Essentials, before Essentials, the world had to wait for IT to bring G Suite tools to their organization. Now it's available to everybody. Next, we developed and understood the need to create an integrated set of tools designed to support a modern workspace versus a random collect collection of tools. Essentials is, the, is a product equipped to support the complexity that comes with global teams forced to work remote, an environment that will define 2020 and beyond. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention a few things on the pricing front. Google is unique in the per active user pricing that we have developed with Essentials. Most vendors charge a license regardless of if the product is used or not. This is a vendor friendly pricing model. It lets you say, choose a product that you think is gonna be a strong fit, but when left with 10% adoption, you're still stuck with the bill. Google is in this instance, betting on itself. By only charging if a user gets meaningful engagement with the tool set, we bring to you a customer friendly pricing model that few others are willing to do. Beyond this, many organizations can save money through consolidation. For those in the audience that are on Microsoft today at your core, but realized over time that it was falling short in areas and felt the need to add a number of solution, of point solutions to solve for content management or video conference, trust me when I say that you're not alone. It's something that we see all the time. And an example where an organization say has Box and Zoom in place, Essentials reduces that price by roughly 60%. The future end user tech portfolio that you have an opportunity to adopt requires two vendors, Microsoft for mail and calendar, Google for communication, Essentials for communication and collaboration. And lastly, on the priority front, Essentials allows teams to get up and running quickly. Additive tools that do not come with a painful rip and replace process that are free today as part of our, our COVID support response and that have give you an opportunity to just get started online for free between now and the end of September really does make for a, for a quick onboard. That said, we're here to meet you where you're at. So if, you are, if you're not ready to get started with you know, an online signup and you're an organization that say is thinking about something more complex, we have a partner network that is standing by to, to work with you to deliver best practices and coach you through the process. And the last point on adoption is G Suite Essentials is available through email verification. This means that you do not have to have formal IT organization, be within the formal IT organization to adopt these tools. If you're an individual that needs a new set of tools, if you're a team leader that needs their team to be working more collaboratively to deliver against aggressive goals that your organization has asked of you, or if you're an IT decision maker that's looking for a solution across the organization, there's a conversation to be had. And so now as we, uh, we'll, we'll jump into some of the specifics. And we have, uh, we've decided to lead with video conferencing today because this is what you all have lived for the last four months. Demand has shot through the roof. Video conferencing apps saw a record 62 million downloads during one week in March alone, as people scrambled for solutions. And as this statistic illustrates, a lot of people have had, a, have had difficulty streaming with an ineffective communications platform. Meet specifically has seen daily usage grow by 30x during the COVID period. And despite this growth, the demand has been well within the bounds of our network's ability. You might have seen in the news recently that we are bringing a ton of our advanced features to the consumer version of Meet that millions of people use every day and depend on in their, in their daily lives. I mentioned this to highlight the fact that while Essentials is a new offering, Meet is not a new tool quickly put together to compete with Zoom, but a core product in our G Suite tool touching millions of users. As an enterprise offering, we customize the technology to make it available to you as a standalone, and that's what we're, we're here to discuss in Essentials. We did this because nearly every company is thinking about how to address a very real video conferencing problem, assessing the legacy tools that are in place and figuring out how they work. Of those organizations, many have adopted Zoom and small teams. 
but the organization is not 100% sold on if that's the long-term option. As, as for features, grid view, support for large team meetings, compatibility with modern browsers, mobile support on either iOS or Android, you name it, we'll have you covered. The video conferencing team at Google has been cranking away, bringing new functionality to support the, the most modern version of an enterprise grade product that's available to every, everyone while at the same time managing the 30X spike in usage. And as, what Essentials can, can demonstrate as an integrated set of tools is on full display as Meet and Drive and editors come together in a compelling way. And for what it's worth, Google runs on Meet. The employee, our employees across the globe use it multiple times a day. And here is a day in the life of somebody using these tools. As you can see, video conferencing and collaboration aren't two different topics, but one cohesive work stream. So let's say that there is a marketing team within your organization that is working on a new campaign for an upcoming product launch. The marketing lead uses Google Docs to put down their initial thoughts and schedules a team meeting with this cross-functional group. Prior to the meeting, the members of the group view the, the real-time document and add their live edits. During the meeting, the marketing lead presents the document and works through the strategy line by line, adjusting and assigning action items along the way. For those that might not have been able to attend the session, the meeting is recorded, it's shared out through Google Drive to be viewed afterwards. The speed and efficiency that comes through this type of supercharged collaboration reduces the time while increasing the impact. Beyond performance, what matters most when making a decision for the long term is often an afterthought when making decisions on what to adopt in the moment. Some video conferencing apps like Meet are just more secure than others. And in the world where video conferencing is more important than it ever has been, having a secure way to connect is also more important than it's ever been. How many of you have heard of Zoom bombing? And if we were here in person, I'm sure that nearly all of you would have a hand in the air. Google has no reported cases of this. And it's because we design and build and operate our product on a secure foundation aimed at preventing attacks and providing protections needed to keep you safe. And also when choosing a cloud technology, the public cloud provider that the tool is hosted on becomes incredibly important. Google's built on the same safe, proven, reliable cloud infrastructure that accounts for well over 10% of the total worldwide internet traffic. This translates into end-to-end -end security with custom-built layers from enterprise, from infrastructure to endpoints, derived for, from our own experience of protecting billions of customers that have used our services over the years. A product such as Zoom, as you've probably known, is not, as you probably know, is not a public cloud provider. In the news recently, they selected Oracle to host their core product, a surprising decision to make. The comparison then becomes Zoom plus Oracle together as a safe and secure platform compared to Google. At the end of the day, Google provides proactive AI-influenced security controls turned on by default, data encryption in transit, unique meeting-specific encryption keys, and global compliance certifications to ensure that you meet audit standards. On to the collaboration topic. The integrated workflow I mentioned previously, which highlights how real-time editors empower teams before, during, and after a video conference is worthy of further exploration. Collaboration through content stored in Google Drive and created in editors has historically been one of our biggest areas of impact for our users. It also represents to those coming into the conversation with a video conferencing Zoom style mindset, a value proposition that those companies are unable to address. So if you're intrigued by the functionality of Meet versus your existing solution, what we are about to touch on should tip you over the edge. Let's start by discussing the collaboration experience relative to what you watching today are likely using. Collaboration in a traditional Microsoft environment is broken, and that's not through lack of effort. As I mentioned, the tools that bear the brand and promise of collaboration are out there and deployed, but they're just not being used. Many think of collaboration as a checkbox where you either have a solution that addresses it or you don't. But the reality of it is, is that the vendor gets a vote and the quality, flow, design, and technical sophistication really do matter. 
An exercise that my team led a while back was to map out the col what collaboration looks like in a modern Microsoft environment. This is not a graphic provided from Microsoft, but was pieced together through support documentation. What, it, what this goes on to show is that where to store a document and how to access it starts to become a fairly intense mental exercise. And the result for a remote worker that's not able to figure this out is they abandon the process and they revert to what we'll call today like caveman collaboration, attaching static documents to emails, storing files in the desktop or a network file server. Outside of that option, they go and they find something else that works. Many times a consumer version of a G Suite solution, which introduces this idea that we're all familiar with of shadow IT. We just don't have this adoption and this complication problem. People enjoy the tools, they choose to use them and they want to use them. And it's highlighted in our personal lives and our corporate adoption statistics, uh, that will be true across your team as well. And while the current system is, it is broken, there is a better way of working. One that we created and one that which has grown virally over the years. As it relates to content creation, real-time co-editing where every keystroke from any user globally is updated real time is a true game changer. From a personal perspective, like once you have worked this way, there's no going back. If you're unsure of if you've really used these tools in a professional collaborative setting, trust me when I say that you'd know if you had. Not only does this solve for the challenges that come with version controls, but it solves for cultural and business problems. Confidence that when you show up in a document that you always have the latest enables productivity that follows the sun for global organizations where people in different time zones can work as a single team. It allows people to contribute when and how they want, not in an artificial nine to five block of hours where you're handcuffed to your desktop, which is just an old and antiquated way of working particularly in this COVID environment where the world now has taken what a normal day in the life or a schedule looked like and thrown it out the window. To continue on this theme of content creation, we have tools to create better content quickly. A couple of years ago, we launched a feature called Explore. In Sheets, you ask questions with words, not formulas, like what are the top three items by a sales price? And it understands the data well enough to know when to recommend that you create things like pivot tables and does so instantly. This is a moment of true democratization of data. Traditionally, the power falls in the hands of a few that have formal trading and Excel formulas. We have taken this capacity out of the hands of the few and given it to the many. Explore touches slides and, where, and generating intelligent design suggestions based off your content. In docs, you get instant research suggestions based off the content that you're writing about. This limits the cost of, of change and it allows you to, to take things like minor design modifications, the research to find the appropriate formula, the Google, oftentimes Google search to find the answer to the data and volunteers it in the, in the program for you. And finally, when it comes to storing, searching, and accessing content, you saw the mess that Microsoft can be when deciding between which silo the document should live across OneDrive or SharePoint or desktop or in an old email. After creating years worth of great content your uh, across your team, it's critical that, they, that you're always in a position to access it and store it. What we're able to do is use shared drives to store content that your team collaborates on to ensure that everybody across, the, across that team always has access to the latest, which translates into data being owned by the team and not the team members, which means that individual that just left doesn't take the content with them or the individual that just joined doesn't have to go across individuals to, to get the appropriate sharing permissions. With Drive, you easily access the documents on any device and you're, you're able to find relevant content quickly. An interesting statistic is 49% of employees have reported historically tro having trouble finding and locating documents. Many organizations only use content that is either top of mind or stored in a specific place that you personally are familiar with. With years of content, oftentimes 
what that translates into is you are creating content that already exists instead of building on top of the institutional and organizational understanding of that topic, allowing you to take the conversation further. And when we set up to solve this problem, search happened to be the, the bread and butter of Google as an organization. So what we've done is leverage that same technology. We just apply it to your organization. Drive provides one search baller to rule them all. To rule them all. It, you search by owner name, by keyword, either in the title or buried within the content, or you take one of the, admit, the many advanced search capabilities, which does things like pulls words from photos and PDFs and indexes those so they're searchable by you. And lastly, this theme of AI out of the box is incredibly hard to come by. Everybody wants to leverage an AI solution and model, but they're tough to build. We happen to have the luxury of not only our search DNA, but 2 billion users that we have known to understand over time and have built models using industry leading Google developed tensor processing units to bring the best in ML to you. Through a product that we call Quick Access, Drive will surface the most relevant documents based on when the document was last accessed, who it was shared with, and the content that you historic, that historically matters most to you. People spend a big chunk of time every week looking for content. And when you're looking for content, you're not working. You're in a vacuum. Across our user base, Google saves, across our 2 billion users, Google saves an incredible 17 working years every day or half of an individual's career's worth of time surfacing content to people that are looking for it quicker than, than historically has been available. As we transition into our last topic, what we'll cover here is how G Suite Essentials not only seamlessly integrates into itself, but is also designed to work with your existing tools, which in most cases is going to be Microsoft Office. Some of you likely considered G Suite before a migration to Microsoft 365. Whether that's the case or not, as you know, a migration of email is an intense decision that takes a lot of time and effort. Essentials is designed to be the opposite. You can start online, be in meetings today, and with it being free until the end of September, you can use as much of it as you need with very little to no risk. There'll be a very wonderful moment to decide on if you should keep it or if you should not. We acknowledge the reality that many of you are looking for an option right now that coexists. You're not in a position to drop Microsoft entirely, but you do in fact want to make it more simple and better. And as mentioned before, one of the reasons that it's easy for users to adopt is we have a, a consumer heritage, 2 billion users deep. And just about everyone on your team, even those that you might not expect it, likely has had experience and exposure to our tools. With that said, while we are built on a consumer heritage, there is a, a tremendous amount of purpose-built features that are not available in the consumer world, paired with 24-7 support that businesses like yours expect and need. You get tools that are, again, built on user-friendly consumer versions of Google Apps that people already know and love, plus the serious bene business benefits that come with upgrading to a paid professional version. In a corporate setting, Meet allows you to connect with 250 participants in a call and record meetings stored to Drive for access later. We touched on Shared Drive, which allows files to be brought to teams instead of individuals or teams dedicated to a, to a specific file level. We also have this idea of Drive for Desktop, which is also known as Drive File Stream. This syncs Drive files directly from the cloud to your Mac or PC, so that you always have access to files the same way that you historically have, freeing up disk space, network bandwidth, while also ensuring that everything is automatically updated. And let's touch for a, a moment on the really important topic of integration with Microsoft Office. If you have been using Office, you can continue to do so and see improved performance. In the past, with Google, you needed to convert Office formats to Google versions. If that is your experience, it's likely been a bit of time since you've last had a conversation with us, but times have changed and those days are long gone. You can now keep working in files and store them in Drive, never convert out of a native Microsoft file format, and add a layer of Google Magic on top, which allows for real-time editing 
that in many instances can make Microsoft with Google better than Microsoft with Microsoft. If you're in a Microsoft tool set today, it's worthy of a separate conversation as to exactly what this looks like. But the high level is our interoperability conversation is rock solid. And since there's no Gmail or calendar, we know that this needs to work, that our tools need to work natively with Office. We, we used to call it internally awesomeness with Office, but it has been a priority for years and it, in a really wonderful position today. Our integration doesn't stop with that Office. The theme of cloud is open and accessible. Speed and progress is shared by the aggregate group is better than any single individual person or company can provide. And this idea of the cloud runs counter to the industry themes, which historically and still to this day with many providers is more of a, you use all of us or none of us. What this means is if it needs to be integrated, we can do it. We're the top download plugin in Slack, the, their salesforce.com integration, which allows reports to be pulled into sheets for further analysis. SAP is the same. And if you leverage Google Cloud Platform, we have a number of integrations, an example being connected sheets, which takes BigQuery and, and dumps uh, data into Sheets directly for further, uh, for further deep dives. And as we round this out, I think we're, we're incredibly proud of our, our, of our customer base. While Essentials is a new offer, uh, for customer, our customers have been using these very tools as part of a broader G Suite solution with, that has resulted in limited to no disruption in this COVID period versus organization using legacy tools which have much different conversations. Whether it is TELUS and their 20,000 employees using Meet, citing Meet as a key contributor in their ability to transition to a work from home model, to Whirlpool pointing to us and a lot, helping them innovate faster in a really competitive market, and G Suite being a, a critical component in them accomplishing this um, with you know, not only a improved technology experience, but positive shifts in company culture. We're one of the many organizations forced overnight to go from an old in-office way of working to 100% work from home and was able to do so with ease. As we conclude today, we've covered a lot of ground in a very short amount of time. And the reality is there's still a lot more to discuss. What we would very much encourage you to do is take one of two paths. Both include the first step of going to our homepage. If you are in a position where you just want to grab onto the tool and get started using it today, you can try it free. You'll have months to, to work through an independent evaluation. And if questions come up throughout the process, we are here to help. If you are a more complex organization that wants to have a discussion about some unique variables or characteristics that need to be taken into consideration, on that same homepage is a contact sales button. What we'll commit to is having a team reach out to you quickly to, to partner throughout the process. The call to action that we started with is the same one that I'd like to end, is let's not let the good ideas end with this call. Please do take a moment, visit our homepage, and work through one of the two steps that we've outlined. With all that being said, thanks again for your time. Stay safe and stay healthy.